Good day. Thanks for joining me for another Minecraft uh, gameplay video here. I am on the Dell Boy 3K1 uh, Meme Meister server and uh, actually making videos in fairly rapid succession here. I think it was only two days ago that I played. Uh, coming home on the Friday evening here. I've got home a little while ago and after a bit of relaxation decided to play some more Minecraft. So where I left off was I had been making this uh, dirt walled base or yeah I guess base or more base way far away from my other base too far to go back and forth and uh, my goal here was to uh, or is to uh, hopefully locate a um, an ancient city and um, so the little bit of info I had was that uh, if you look for a valley between two mountains and then explore out from there you may come across one. So since my last video I have uh, put a roof on my base there, uh, lit up the front area and uh, done just a little bit of other building stuff here. Now it's nighttime so probably I don't want to actually run around too much. You can't probably see it but there's a a big old giant spruce tree up there that I planted to give myself lots of wood. I built a, a cooking station much bigger than the one at my home area. Uh, the reason I did that actually is because I discovered something really very interesting. Now I just joined the server here again. I don't have any idea what time. Oh, it's just past the middle of the night based on the moon position and which direction it's going there on its way down but just barely. So what I was thinking I was going to do, which I did, uh, I had basically dug down to the bedrock prior to um, stopping my last video and um, now I ran away because there was a skeleton there that I didn't really want to fight with but off in this direction here there's a big tall mountain with an ice cap on it and uh, so what I thought I was would do was, was I going in the right way? Oh, maybe I went the wrong way. You know what? I think I did. Huh. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. My That was my intention, whether I actually did that or not. I also built a, a way to uh, splash down safely so I can descend. Lickety split. Climbing up takes, you know, the usual amount of time, but the descent doesn't take too long. So I started sort of zigzagging off in this direction. I decided to go up a little bit <clears throat> so that I wasn't at right at bedrock, so that if I stumbled into any caverns and things, I, I feel it's more likely to find caverns and open areas a little ways up. Like, not way up, but a little ways up from the bedrock. Um, so bedrock starts at uh, level 59, negative 59, and the, what Minecraft uses is the Y coordinate for some reason. And uh, that's the vertical one. And then I started zigzagging back and forth. Basically I was digging, I think, eight blocks this way, and then eight blocks this way, eight blocks this way, eight blocks this way. Basically just zigzagging back and forth. Now, once I found an interesting area, I came back and decided to uh, clean it up by basically chopping out the corners of each of those eight eight uh, block long tunnels. So and I also cleaned this up a little bit in order to start exploring and to help me find my way back here. So giant underground cavern. Here's the interesting bit. I've seen this once before in uh, a previous game that I played, but I think it was before the ancient cities were added to the game. This biome over here is called, what is it called now? Deep Dark, I think. Uh, let's have a look. Minecraft Skulk, what's the biome? Deep Dark. Yeesh, Deep Dark, that's not scary at all. So it's kind of freaky, to be honest. I'm not, what is that? Skulk sensor, okay, whatever that means. And that is, I don't know 
what that is. Skulk Catalyst. Hmm. And then we've got some a Skulk Vein. This stuff seems a little bit like vines in that you can uh, you can dig it off of surfaces and then that whoop that I just chopped up there the skulk I guess you break it but you don't get anything left behind so I don't know I don't know too much about this biome I know that it is at least associated with ancient cities I don't know that there's any guarantee I kind of went this far and then I chickened out because I wanted to make sure that uh, I put away I had found some diamonds and such and I wanted to get them locked away before I risked risked it all in exploring oh, what the hell is that what is that oh oh what's going on here it's pitch it's pitch black oh my god <laughs> okay I, I don't know about that man what the heck what was that why is it so dark? Ugh, good thing I laid some torches out. Holy cow. Okay, the darkness has retreated. That it was almost like a, I don't know what to call it, like a, I'm sure you saw it if you were looking, if you were watching, there were sort of these rings almost like a, radar pulse or something. Those things are lighting up in, in sequence. Those are the, what are those called again? There's one over here. Two over here. Skulk sensors, okay. So those are sensing something. I don't know what. Movement, maybe? Okay, so... Okay, up there. Uh, I'm just gonna. It's like they're talking to each other. What is that? What is that? That's a thing. Oh my god, what the hell is that? What am I hearing? Oh shit, what? Is that a warden? Oh my god. <laughs> run, 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 run. Jesus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think that's a warden. I caught a glimpse of a warden. And honestly, it kind of scared me a bit. That's freaky. Oh, there he is. There he is. distance a little bit. What the actual heck? What did he kill? A bat? And is he coming for me now? Looks like. Maybe. Maybe. Oh my god, now it's dark again. Just gonna go this way. So does the warden cause that darkness? And there's a zombie. Okay. Regular old threat. Where's the warden now? Is he coming? Is he up there? Yes, he's up there. This is some freaky stuff, man. This is literally the scariest, scariest thing that I've ever experienced in Minecraft. I mean, maybe the first time I played the whole zombie business and skeletons freaked me out a little bit, but nothing like this. I mean, I want to explore that, but I, I've just got basic iron armor and a stone sword. 
Honestly, I wasn't expecting to run into that sort of a thing quite so quickly. So, uh, where'd he go? If I dare. It's up there somewhere. I think. I can hear him. There's more cavern up there. Can't really see it, though. Well, maybe I'll, uh... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Something triggered there. Just gonna try to do some more lighting up in the area, but, uh... He seems to, uh, exude darkness. There's nothing freaky about that. So, should a person be chopping out those skulk sensors? Would that be a thing to do? Maybe. Let's, uh... Okay, so... What happened there? Didn't give me anything. Skulk catalyst. So does that generate skulk? These dark blocks. I'm gonna. I'm going to. Uh, you get experience for that. I don't want to be. I don't want to be too close to the lava, or Mister Mister Freaky Pants is gonna come get me and knock me into the lava is my fear. Uh, oh, there's another thing down there. I think we will uh, chop you right up. Get some experience. Uh, oh, that's just more lava, okay. So that's a skulk catalyst, is it? Just gonna dig out around it and see whether it generates skulk blocks or what exactly, if it does anything discernible. Where are you, man? Okay, so hopefully if I... Oh, no, darkness again. Is that proximity to the warden, or is that something else, I wonder? like he's close. Is he close? Okay, I'm getting less frightened, but I expect I'm gonna get... Oh, no, shit. What the hell? <sighs> I can't see where I'm going. Oh, no. <laughs> Is he chasing me? <laughs> this is so screwy. Oh, man. I guess I'll just leave that torch there. This is, uh, this is nuts. Okay, uh, I need to be able to get up out of here is what I need to be able to do. Turning and running blindly is maybe not the, the very best of things. Hard not to, though. What the hell? What was that? It was like a ray. Or something. I just caught a glimpse of it there as it hit me. I thought I had been physically hit by the warden, but now I think it was just a ray of some kind, like a beam. A beam of blue energy. Okay. Ugh. This is some scary business here. And the, when, anytime I go over here now, the darkness comes. Weird. Does it just stay permanently? I'm going to sit right here for a minute. 
see if it uh, fades or brightens. That's what I'm actually meaning to say. What was that thing that I walked right up to earlier? And uh, I think it was over this way. Boy, oh boy, this is not is it? Okay, so that is the way I came from, and this is the furthest extent that I had come to. Right, so we got these things. Okay, that sounds like an awakening beast to me. Okay, there's that thing up there. Oh shit, here it comes. Well, might as well try to hit him. Oh, I hit him. And he... <laughs> okay. <laughs> that didn't last very long. <laughs> Two hits? <laughs> well, that's some scary shit, that is. <laughs> okay, of course, all my... Well, not all. Most of my food was down there. That's basically the reason I planted all these trees and everything was to make sure that I could um although I don't have any iron. I wonder if I could run in and out of there and recover my equipment. Probably not. Oh well, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a try. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, that is some crazy stuff, that is. Whew. Uh, let's see here. So anyway, I built a little storage where I put a bunch of all my dirt and, and uh, cobblestone and such from the digging I did. So that'll allow me to build up some tools a little bit. I don't really need a full set at this point. And... Uh, Let's see here, I would have a pickaxe or two, and a sword, and that's probably about all I need tool-wise. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm the only one on the server, yeah. Never clear who was slain by Warden. Yeah. I'm gonna go uh, murder some fish uh, so that I at least have some food. <clears throat> there were tons of fish, and then you can see the spruce tree up there, the giant spruce that I've grown and hacked down a few times. There's the old mountain. Let me think about that for a second. The ladder's in that corner, and then I was going that way and that way, so that was south. Oh, so I went the wrong way. Interesting. That's Skulk. No, not Skulk. Well, it is Skulk, but the deep dark biome is actually kind of underneath. Uh, I'd have to get the exact coordinates, which I could do next time I'm down there. But it's over this way, though, not under the mountain. So, see what I mean about lots of fish? So I won't get too carried away here, but uh, just pick up. That's three. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Fish are actually one of the easiest and often plentiful food sources you can find. Once you find an area that has them, oh, don't drown. Um, they're fairly easy to hunt, especially in the rivers. In the oceans, they're a little harder because they'll dive down and dodge you, especially the, the cod. 
but in the rivers you find salmon. You find salmon in the oceans as well, but um, they'll dive down to avoid you, <coughs> especially the cod, and they're they're a, a fair bit harder to just hit with your sword. Although you can you can manage it when you when you practice after you've practiced a little bit, but they're still tricky. Twelve already. That was quick. Oh, and there's more more deadies over here. Well, 16 is a nice, nice cookable number, although I can cook, I think, 32 at a time in that cooking station there. One, two. One, two. Buckle my shoe. Okay, that'll do. Let's go. Rapid swim over this way. Pop up for some air. Bake these bad boys on the campfire. Oh, why am I picking up? Why am I stopping to pick up the squid parts? I don't know. Habit. Alrighty. This is probably the most efficient way to mass cook. Mass cook food. Build a bunch of uh, campfires. I've got them up on on blocks so that I can't walk into the campfire by accident. And I've cleared out the blocks around them so that any food that goes flying off in the opposite direction is still easy to pick up. And, uh, wait a minute or so and then you've got all kinds of cooked food. Easy peasy. And you don't need to worry about collecting coal or yeah collecting coal or making charcoal or anything like that so what i'm going to do since i'm going to be running down to challenge well not challenge but uh play hide and seek with the warden i'm just going to do i want torches i don't think i need any actually not that this they don't seem to do much good around mr warden any, any who Something turns everything all dark. Ugh, there we go. Sploosh. Alright, well, my goal will be here to uh, dash in, grab my equipment, and dash out again. See if I can succeed in that. And then uh, probably I'll post this video up so Dell can see what the excitement there is down here. Hopefully I'll succeed at this. I don't know how you explore that biome if you can't see anything. Uh, should I be running, I wonder? Maybe I can find my, my equipment splash zone. I can, oh, wait a minute, I don't see anything. Did my equipment all disappear? What the hell? Hasn't been five minutes. There's that stupid. I'm gonna try to kill that thing. There. So, no equipment. What the hell happened to my equipment? It's spread. What? What did I do? The challenge, it spreads. I completed the challenge. Well, that's good. It wasn't correlated with doing anything other than me fighting the zombie, though. Uh, I wonder if that has to do with the skulk. Um, uh, these things. What are these called again? Skulk Catalysts. So you get experience for chopping these things up. And I did defeat the the uh, Whatchamajigger before I before I got that achievement, although I was a little bit delayed if that's what it was for. So these things seem to beam messages back and forth as well as trigger the 
the thing, the name of which I've already forgotten. So, because of that, that I don't seem to be... Mr. Warden doesn't seem to be showing up. Oh, I don't have any torches, damn it. Where the heck did my equipment go? Did the skulk, does the skulk absorb equipment? I was really expecting to find my gear. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So, no armor now, and no, no armor, no shield, no, no, well, that's really all I was carrying, other than some tools. Um, was my armor. But it is gone. Gone, gone, gone. I'm sure I got back here fast enough. Like, I went and got fish for a couple minutes, and then I came down here. Like, that should have easily been within the time limit. Huh. Alrighty, well, I, by killing that... whatever the hell that thing was called. I don't know why I can't seem to remember that for more than 12 seconds. By killing that, or destroying it, I'm not sure if killing is quite the right word, maybe. They seem to be sort of organic. Oh, let's have a look at that thing. The catalyst. Yeah, it didn't... It doesn't seem to have generated any any more skulk. Now, the skulk seemed to eat the equipment, maybe, that I dropped. I wonder... I'm gonna try... Do I have anything I could sacrifice? Yeah, I could sacrifice a pickaxe. What happens if I drop a pickaxe on here? Does it, like, disappear? No. Or is that a consequence of getting killed by the warden, maybe? Maybe the warden takes all your equipment. Hmm. Okay, well, I would explore more since I know that I took out that whatchamadooey, but, um, I don't have any torches. And so, lacking torches, I don't know that I can really go too far, because running around in the pitch blackness doesn't exactly seem like it's a very, would be a very productive exercise. <laughs> well, there's an accomplishment, my first death by warden and losing of all my equipment. So, what do you know? Now I'm curious about... Well, I don't know why I'm curious. I, my plan was to go try to get underneath that mountain, and I went the wrong way. I went south instead of north. Anyway, it's just something that I felt like I wanted to do, was go, in, go underneath that giant mountain and see if there was any relationship there. It didn't take me very long of hunting around to actually find that skulk biome, but although they're associated with ancient cities, I don't know that there's any kind of, I don't think there's any guarantee that a skulk biome, or sorry, I keep calling it a skulk biome, that a deep dark biome has to have an ancient city associated with it. I don't, I don't think that's a thing. Anyway. All right, well, that is quite enough Minecraft-related excitement uh, for now, I would say. I'm just going to stay parked in my house. Oh, do I have any wood that I could... A little bit. I had been burning... I had burned a big stack of wood to make charcoal. I didn't really save any. Actually, I can burn up that oak. Let's do that. Or, uh, uh, bake it into charcoal, anyway. Um, and I guess I've got some rotting flesh I can stuff into one of these chests. There we are. You can eat rotting flesh if you're starving, especially. It's, it's, it's not the best food in the game, but it will keep you alive. That's uh, something that might be worth knowing. It's something I wasn't aware of for a long time, actually, and I was watching uh, a Minecraft video one day, and 
the dude was running around eating rotten, rotten, rotten flesh, rotten flesh, or rotting, rotten flesh, uh, because it was the only food he had, and uh, he was gradually healing, although it inflicts a, a condition on you when you eat it. I don't remember what it is. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it to myself just before I disconnect. But anyway, you do gradually gain back some health by eating rotten flesh. Who knew? I always just kind of steered clear of it in the past. Other than as, you know, an ingredient in potions or to trade with. Anyway, we're just past half an hour. That was some real excitement. At least for me it was. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Thanks very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.